Hello and welcome to another edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubedu. Making our headlines today, the Minister for Employment and Labour Relations gives the Labour Department of his ministry a one-week ultimatum to investigate the alleged assault case at the Mawako restaurant. We have details of this and many more coming up shortly on this episode. Do stay. And to our first story, where the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, Ignatius Bafwewa, has given the Labor Department a one week ultimatum to investigate the Mawako assault saga. About two weeks ago, a Lebanese national who is said to be the supervisor at the Abelimpe branch of the Mawako restaurant, Jihad Chaban, is said to have grabbed the head of a Ghanaian female staff and dipped her face in blended pepper. The minister visited the restaurant at Agbalimpe today. Not just all about the criminality, but there are labor issues. Worker, employee, and occupants, the joint ministry. It is the outcome of the investigation which will inform us as to what we have to do. So um, we will, at this stage, not conclude as to whether. Uh, the case is over or not. Um, if, for us, it has just even begun. Mr. Bafuewa was accompanied by the Minister of Gender, Children and Social Protection, Otiko Afisa Jaba, who condemned the act and stated that there will be sanctions for people who assault others or else they will be forced to shut down such entities. Meanwhile, the police have finally charged the Lebanese manager of Morocco restaurant who allegedly shoved the face of a Ghanaian worker in hot pepper with assault. Jihad Chaban was this morning brought to the police headquarters before being moved to the Abeka court in handcuffs. The victim, Evelyn Boache, says she wants justice to prevail to serve as a deterrent to both foreigners and local employers maltreating their staff. Away from that labor issue, the president's spokesperson, Mustafa Hamid, has contested assertions that the president is trying to skew Ghana's history to favor his father and uncle, who also played key roles in the fight for independence. Some Ghanaians have berated the president's Independence Day address, claiming it undermined the efforts of Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, in the struggle. But the information minister says there is no deliberate attempt to change the history of the country and that indeed J.B. Dankwa and Edward Ekufuado played various important roles in the fight for freedom. He also hinted the Ministry of Education will soon roll out a revised curriculum which will instill a sense of pride in young Ghanaians. And to some other stories where the Zimbabwean president, Robert Mugabe, has rejected assertions that he has imposed himself on the people of Zimbabwe. President Mugabe, who has been in power for more than 30 years, has been accused of refusing to step down after many years in office and suppressing opposition parties. But speaking to journalists in Accra, he said he is still in power because the people of Zimbabwe want him to stay on. And we bring our final story for today where the police in Atebubu in the Bunuahafu region say no arrests have been made in connection with a shooting incident on the Atebubu Kumase Highway which left one person dead. Some suspected robbers yesterday attacked passengers on the highway killing a prison officer and leaving another in critical condition. Speaking to City News, the Atebubu District Police Commander, Chief Superintendent Joseph Achu Jinaku, says his outfit is working around the clock to arrest the culprits. And that will be all for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Zoe Abubeidu. Thank you for watching.